How does it manipulate our system? The evil system we live in is built to control all its citizens, regardless of gender, race and religion. For this reason, certain ways have been created over time to keep people under control and obedience. First of all to the family, then to the institutions, to the society and overall to the system. All these mechanisms have in common the attack of the most intimate part that man has in this world, the soul. The ultimate goal is for man, surrendering control over the soul. To return indefinitely in this material existence, without the possibility of ascension into higher dimensions. The control methods of the citizens are applied from a young age by the members of the society who were in turn programmed by the relatives, or members of the system, secret services, army, media. Corporations. In the last century, these control methods have become industrialized by the system and have received names, the best known being Monic Mind Control and MKUltra. They say that these methods have become industrialized because they are widely and accurately used in the entertainment industry, music, movies, sports, the military, the secret services, corporations, state institutions, and politics. From here, things get trickier, and this is where the true meaning of life lies. Thus, over time, a large mass of the population is programmed from an early age so as not to present problems for the system. These programming methods aim at inhibiting the victim's native personality and developing multiple, fully obedient personalities. Programming has multiple purposes in this regard. The victims being used for a multitude of petty actions. Here we can mention, assassinations to order, Manchurian candidate, creating destructive ideas for people, books, movies, music, theater, transmitting secret information, spies, creating soldiers without fear of death and without feelings. In the above mentioned programs, the victim is chosen from childhood, preferably children up to the age of five. Because at this age the child's mind receives a barrier that blocks the subtle memories and experiences that man has experienced since the embryonic stage and still before it. The child up to five years old has a mind connected to the external material world only to a very small extent, and his extrasensory abilities are more advanced than those of humans. His mind is pure, unaltered by the energy information viruses of the world he has entered. He therefore lives in a world of conscious dreams in which a small fragment of material reality is embedded. Based on these conscious dreams, programmers will work on the victim's mind. Once the barrier at the age of five is put in place, the child will come into line with the world. And his rational mind will take the place of the irrational one. After the age of five, the victim will be able to be scheduled, but the scheduling will not be completely successful. The victim having the possibility of full speed recovery. Even a scheduled victim up to the age of five can fully recover, but the recovery process is extremely long and difficult. There are two programming situations. The first is the industrialized one, it is thought and realized in very well established conditions. With a well developed schedule and by methods introduced gradually and previously scientifically experienced. The second is in the family and involves an unprofessional approach, but which undoubtedly achieves its purpose to the same extent. Industrialized programming. Since ancient times, humans have been programmed by obscure individuals with advanced knowledge of the occult. From official prehistoric tribal culture, since the decline of many Atlanteans who began practicing dark science and magic, in fact, from the time of ancestral sin, in which man discovered sexual reproduction, and until the multilateral developed era in which we are today. The secret schools of the ancient mysteries are known, which have been perpetuated over time in the form of brothers, groups and orders from the medieval royal courts. With the development of the science of psychology, achieved in the boom of mechanical industrialization, people discovered the way the human mind works, as well as its organization. It has been established that the human mind is made up of the conscious, the subconscious and the unconscious, and the particularities of each compartment have been drawn. At the same time, ways have been developed to manipulate these compartments to the detriment of the individual and in favor of those who have an interest in this purpose. 
Experiments have revealed the ability of the mind to split into extreme conditions, giving rise to multiple personalities of the same individual. This event is due to the quality of self-defense of the mind when it is subjected to certain external and internal stimuli, stimuli that exceed a certain degree of intensity. Those emerging personalities will be trained by the programmer to fulfill various purposes. The development of allopathic medicine, neurology, has also allowed the localization of areas of the brain that are affected when those stimuli are applied and changes in nerve cells. Therefore, science has taken as a detailed and often hidden study these special cases of anatomical and mental impairment of the individual. Among the first cases of programming that were reported on a large scale, using, among other things, scientific discoveries, were those in which a very large number of people adhered to the doctrine and mentality of communism. People have become depersonalized, and some of them are reported to have had a demonic side. These are the agents of the communist system. As we will see throughout the text, the demonic side is true. How was it possible for Lenin to impose his will on millions of people? The success was due to an extreme and successful process, a few initiates survived long enough to speak of a red initiation that all future agents went through during training in former monasteries. The place of the monasteries was not chosen by chance, but for the intense energies it releases. Occult techniques were used to strengthen the will of the agents to the supernatural level, which could later exploit the psychic energies of victims of torture and sacrifice. Only someone who had killed in the name of the cause could become a red initiate. Agent training techniques included physical, mental, and emotional torture, deprivation of food, water and senses, electrocution, forcing individuals to fight each other to the death, and sexual abuse. As we shall see, these techniques became a pattern of preparation for later programming projects later used by the Nazis and later by the great armed powers of the planet for purposes beyond the scope of secret organizations. Those actions have also become a tool for intelligence services in many states to train spies and have been perpetuated in the armed branches of the state apparatus. In parallel, these methods have become the main means of training individuals working in the field of media, entertainment of any kind and even newer at a certain corporate level. In Nazi Germany, Drive, Mengele was a dreaded figure for many. In addition to the macabre experiments he carried out in the concentration camps and which have been public for a very long time. He was also the man behind the project of programming citizens in Nazi doctrine, especially in the elite SS corps, which on in addition to protective tasks, he also deals with occult practices. We will see that the scientific side and the occult go hand in hand, and a recent programming is made using science to induce the occult. With the outbreak of World War II, many German scientists were secretly taken to the United States as part of Operation Paperclip. Among them is the dreaded Dr. Mengele, nicknamed the Angel of Death. The U.S. Secret Service OSS became the current CIA shortly after the end of the war and drive. Mengele was integrated into the structures of the new service in order to continue programming experiments and to implement widely used programs on the population. It is known that in America in the 1950s there was a widespread phenomenon of children disappearing at a very young age, and their picture appeared for a long time on milk cartons. Those children were abducted by the secret services for use in mental programming projects. Their subsequent purpose was diverse depending on the particular qualities of each, assassins, spies. Programmers, opinion leaders, paranormal, politicians, military personnel, members of the boards of companies and firms in the media and entertainment industry and others. Types of corporations. Thus were developed the famous projects MKUltra, Mind Control, written with K, from German, Ultra, or 13 to 11 Ultra to use occult numerology and monic mind control. In fact, the MK Ultra was officially discontinued in the 1970s, but continued to run away from public attention in the form of monic mind control. This is not important, but the fact that this method has been perpetuated. The methods used in programming are the following, due to the fact that the planned future will have to integrate unnoticed in the society. 
The physical torture does not include blows as a result of which there will be signs on the body. For a time, electric shocks were applied to paralyze the man for shorter or longer periods. So that later he could not use his body for a period of time at will, so he became physically a puppet that is moved by programmers. This information is stored involuntarily by the subconscious mind. Man is also spinning at dizzying speeds to lose his balance, both physically and mentally and is subjected to extremes of temperature to block his senses from pain and is subject to blinding strobe lights. Deprivation of sleep, food, water and space, the victim is locked in tight and awkward spaces, hanging in difficult positions or upside down, mechanical suffocation, diving with his head in the water for a long time, handcuffing and tying limbs with ropes, association with a puppet, Compression under weights and partial or total dislocation of the limbs, again association with a puppet, are also frequently used methods, many of these practices were also used by the Inquisition. Also for programming, the victim is also injected with chemicals that cause him pain and excruciating malaise so that after a well-defined period he can be given an antidote. Psychic torture is also varied and includes, among other things, scenes of human or animal sacrifice that the victim is forced to watch. Thus man becomes desensitized. Programmers also use threatening methods against the victim, her family, friends. The goal is to instill in the victim the idea of lack of strength, security and stability in his life. Man is forced to drink his own urine and that of others, is defiled and forced to consume his own and others' feces. The goal is to make the individual feel disgusted with himself, which will make it much easier to achieve depersonalization. For the same purpose, the individual is forced to drink menstrual blood, eat worms, beetles and spiders and be covered with them. Observed here parallel to certain television shows in which competitors are subjected to tests in which they are forced to eat beetles, worms and, or be covered with something like that to advance in the contest, these shows being designed with a precise purpose. Other methods include insemination of female victims so that they can have a miscarriage later. And they are forced to attend bizarre rituals performed on the fetus and are eventually forced to eat it. In general, Victims are forced at some point to witness, even provoke, ceremonial sacrifices, especially human ones, and then forced to eat the sacrificed person and drink his blood. This action has an occult meaning, meaning, among other things. The assimilation of the sacrificed by the programmed individual, resulting in that part of the sacrificed will remain in the one who ate and drank his blood. The illusion is created that God is evil since he allows the victim to go through such torments and that in fact the programmers are the good ones, Stockholm Syndrome. Since they will provide him with an apparent escape gate, the victim is forced to give up his spiritual beliefs. This creates the spiritualization of the person in question. Many of these methods are performed under the influence of drugs administered by programmers in order to trick the victim's mind so that it does not distinguish between reality and fantasy, dream. The goal is to reach the child's mind of the victim and to split it. And the creation of a fantasy, dream atmosphere in the conscious and subconscious has the purpose of attracting that child's mind to the surface. Also. The fantasy atmosphere is created for the victim's personality to find a refuge in it during the tortures to which she is subjected, in the 1984 film is presented such a scene in which the tortured is seen in an external landscape. Green Hills. This removes the real personality in a chamber formed in the subconscious and new personalities can be formed in the newly formed chambers by splitting the initial trunk of the mind. Protective barriers can be created between these rooms, if necessary and depending on the purpose. So that the newly formed personalities do not interact with each other, in the sense that they do not know each other and act independently, and with the true and inhibited personality of the victim. In addition to all these practices, the victim is subjected to numerous and repeated sexual abuses, especially anal penetration, which, as we will see below, has an extremely important role, the most important. The subjects later end up being programmed somewhat hypnotically, by triggering the alter ego state by certain symbols, words, songs, 
Once the individual is programmed, the hypnosis ends using another, or the same, trigger, and the person no longer remembers anything that happened to him. Victims are programmed according to their subsequent purpose, and programmers use brainwave programming for this. Gamma waves, very intense consciousness, are used in all categories of victims. Due to the mind's ability to split in intense conditions of stress, panic, terror, Beta waves, conscious, are used to program sex slaves. More precisely people who will be used in extensive programs to induce animal sexuality to the public. This programming removes all the moral beliefs of the victim and stimulates the primitive animal instinct in him. The result is the creation of cat personalities and the method is known as kitten programming. It is used especially for female celebrities, models, singers, actresses who are often seen wearing animal prints. The victims in question will later be used to degrade the moral values of the public and to orient them towards an exaggerated rudimentary sexuality in which animal instincts predominate. Alpha waves, consciously relaxed, are used in the usual, general programming to alter the memory of the victims and divide the mind on the left and right side, using neural stimulation. This programming is initially used for all categories of victims. Theta waves, subconscious, are used for mental programming and use victims who already possess extrasensory abilities. These capabilities are greatly enhanced by programmers so that the victim can later fulfill their goals. Delta waves, unconscious, are used to create assassins and elite agents, soldiers. The program aims to depersonalize and desensitize victims, increase the ability to secrete adrenaline, inhibit fear, increase hatred and increase the ability to focus on the goal. This programming also inoculates self-destruction commands, in case the objective cannot be achieved and there is a risk that the operator will be captured. Industrialized programming is widely used in the system. The system itself represents not only the political administrative and economic social aspects of humanity related to the public environment, but also the aspects related to the private environment, namely the banking systems and large corporations in various industries. Among these industries, the media and entertainment industry generates billions annually. Therefore, this industry is intensely populated by programmers, as it is the main formator of opinions, mentalities and currents of any kind. As such, the victims are part of this industry and are programmed in such a way as to convey as accurately as possible to the great masses the wishes of the programmers in accordance with the plan conceived as a whole in high environments. The most well-known victims of the entertainment industry of all time are also among the first victims that programmers have used on a large scale in the public sphere. Their names are Elvis Presley and Marilyn Monroe, Norma Jean. Elvis Presley had as programmer his Dutch-born manager or Colonel Tom Parker, who turned the simple Tennessee peasant into the megastar of the century. Marilyn was originally a luxury prostitute, so pre-programmed, and was later transformed by media industry corporatists into a prominent figure of the century in terms of female occult sensuality. Its symbol is still used today by programmers to turn women in the world of showbiz into icons of debauchery.